you say in order for you to cope with the enormous, <laughs> tremendous I closed, grief, closed my heart down of losing your beloved to a mm. suicide. Yeah, you say that you detached and yes. it closed your heart down, which is a very classic, not to trivialize or over-normalize it, but a very classic coping mechanism. And, and I thought that was a very safe place to be, but yeah. in fact, closing your heart and detaching is a very unsafe place to be. <laughs> Tell us more about that. I think I went through some pretty, um, I, I went through depression, within mm -hmm. myself and I had a lot of guilt come up. Mm. I uh, blamed myself for what happened as I think, you know, probably a lot of people would do, but mm -hmm. I fortunately had a lot of spiritual resources around me and mm. my belief in spirituality, my meditation and my practices. Mm -hmm. Had I not had that, I, I think I probably would not be in the place that I am in today. Yeah, like we said and a little bit earlier, when you build a very yes. strong foundation and you trip and you fall, you have somewhere that can support you when you do need to fall and I, rest. Absolutely, yes. Mm. And, and you I, said that you didn't deal with the grief until a year later at a friend's wedding, is that right? At a friend's right? wedding, yeah. What was the trigger? The the trigger was at the wedding. I'm, I'm fairly certain it was at the wedding because... It, it took me back to our wedding and, of you know, that, that our connection and, and, and yeah, and, and all this emotion came up and everything. It was like opening a can of worms and, and I that have goosebumps. essentially, yeah, that, that essentially was sort of the next phase of my journey. And I, during around that period, I actually met someone else in my life, you know, he came into my life, yeah. not, not taking away from, from Anthony. And um, I think he was definitely a soul connection because we were together for 10 years and we also, we also married. But what actually I, I found in that relationship was that he was a very detached person. Ah, Although because very, you had disconnected. I disconnected, so you I attracted, attracted that into my life, the law of attraction. And so I work very much I, uh, with, with the law of attraction uh, as above, so below. Yes. And, and whatever you're resonating We'll come back to you. And, wow. So how and interesting that you quite... were disconnected and you've attracted someone that was – so you were very much part of each other's healing journey. Absolutely. And I, I do want to just share with you that when, when Anthony had actually passed that year, he was in something, and I, and I don't want this to, to feel too technical and – feel free to email me or to look on my website because I have so many amazing simple explanations for things that are called pinnacles and things that are called personal years. But he was in something called a nine pinnacle and a nine personal year. And to, to um, make this very, very simple, it's about, it's about endings. That it's about is letting, about yeah, it's about endings. letting go. Yep. And it's a very high vibration in terms of um, if, if something isn't working in your life and you're holding on to it, it can bring on great depression because you're not in your heart. And when you go, okay, well, I'm, I'm in this vibration, what I need to do is actually work on my heart <clears throat> and I need to learn to let go of what's actually not serving me, what I'm not learning from my life because mm. if you don't, the universe will take it from you. So... Because you're going I, against the natural flow, aren't you? You're going against the natural flow. It's about when you're rowing upstream. Yep. You yep. don't be rowing upstream, you'll be rowing downstream. Yep. I had the resources around me, Patty, but mm -hmm. I did not have the same amount of knowledge that I do now mm. with, with the numerology. So mm -hmm. I, I wish that I could have actually just spoken to Anthony and said, look, you're just in this vibration now, and I wish I, I could have understood where he was at and just they look it's going to be okay next year just in this few months and and this is what you need to do and this is where you're at and just to sit down and explain with him about the the vibration that he was going through and give him some tools and resources yeah so I, I totally yeah. understand because that's what you do now that's what you do for that's me what I do now. that's what and, you have done for me on many occasions and so I can um I'm so grateful to be able to recognize that within people and to help people because like I said before 
you need to be able to have experienced something on a really deep and profound level for it to make a mark on your life because you don't forget that stuff. <laughs> no, if it hurts, you don't forget it. 